Hey guys, it's Cherokee over at Tutorial Grid, and this is our first video, so I thought, why not start with the basics of Photoshop CS5? Now, I hope you guys like CS5, or you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? But anyway, let's go ahead and get it uh, get started here. Uh, this is our files tabs. This is pretty much where all a lot of the editing is going to be done in Photoshop. This is kind of where your uh, tool set's going to be. So whenever you select a tool, your options for that tool are going to be up here. Now these are where all the tools are, and we'll get more into that, but we're mostly going to focus on um, our brush sets. And over here is pretty much uh, your quick trip to some of your filters, your tools, your swatches, and you can change a lot of the stuff that uh, you've already done. Now over here you have your tabs. Uh, you can pretty much put any type of tab that you need there for quick selection. Now one of the most important things about Photoshop is your layers. Now that's this is where the uh, the layers tab is. Basically, the more layers you have, the larger your composition is going to be, but the more uh, things you can do with your composition uh, because layers basically you get they go on top of each other and you can just kind of select and go between them but we'll get more into that uh, on some of the more advanced tutorials but this is just the basics so I'm gonna go ahead and click file new and right now I have a film video kind of preset but let's go ahead and just make a graphic here we're gonna put US paper 8.5 by 11 sounds good right resolution 300 because it's print now uh, for graphic designers um, you guys always want whenever you're dealing with print always set a resolution at 300 because whenever you print stuff out it's if you have it at 72 which is usually the basic your the pixels and the DPI set is going to show those pixels on there so you're gonna want that resolution to be really high so always set it at a very high level at 300 that's usually when I where I set it at and that works really well but we'll go ahead and create our composition here. Now, we have our mouse tool, which is basically selection. And notice over here on our layers tab, we have a blank layer. Now, that's our background. Normally, whenever I start out on projects, I usually deselect the background. But first, I go ahead and create a new layer. Now, that is what this button is right here. That is our new layer button. So the more times I click that, the more layers I have here. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with one. Also on the uh, this, these little the layers tabs over here, we have delete button, the new layer button, a folder button. So whenever you create a bunch of different layers and you want them to be all compiled into one spot so that you don't have a big jumbled mess, you can create a folder to kind of organize your projects. This over here is your uh, adjustment layers tab. Now this will actually uh, set a new layer and have different effects put onto that adjustment layer so you can kind of see everything in detail and kind of so like say if you're editing a picture you could change your curvature layer and stuff like that without having to go back in and change it physically from your image adjustments tools now over here we have our masking and uh, this one's also a very important tool but we'll get more into that later and then over here is also your effects panel now the effects panel is really really useful uh, and if you were wanting to uh, do like a lot of really like intricate graphics and glows and shadows and stuff like that but we'll get also get more into that in more advanced tutorials But right now we're gonna go ahead and start off with our brushes now this is something that a lot of people like to use because a lot of graphic designers use these in like posters and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and dive right in shall we now our brushes usually whenever you start out you have a simple brush like this or a hard brush. Now this is a soft brush. Now the soft brushes basically have a little bit softer of an edge but notice how it kinda has this uh, feathering that's going on. Now that's creating a softer type of layer so it has that softer type look. Now we also have harder brushes. Notice hard edge line mostly for like drawing for uh, really tough hard edges. Now we also have these uh, different brushes down here that actually look like physical brushes. Now the cool thing about these are if you have a Wacom tablet hooked up to your computer you can actually use these brushes in a type of 3D space as you will. Now notice on the left hand side uh, this it kinda looks like a 3D brush. Now if you have your Wacom tablet, which I don't have mine hooked up right now, but you can actually use this brush in a type of uh, 3D space and it will mimic your brush movements but 
if I was to do this right now, it's just going to go ahead and plop it down like that. Now, I know my computer's running a little slow. I've been working on stuff all day. <clears throat> but if you were to actually use this in time, the uh, you would notice over here on your left-hand side that it's going to be looking like you're actually using a brush. But let's get more into more brushes. Now these are also some of the other brush presets that they come with. They come with uh, type of splatter brushes. You have a different type of grass brushes for uh, some other type of graphics that you would uh, create like fields and stuff. Now some brushes you can actually download and import in to your Photoshop collection. Now these are some brushes I found for uh, like a Facebook launch page I was creating. Now these are arrow brushes and you can download these for free uh, from different uh, places like DeviantArts, but you can kind of put arrows and stuff on your page pointing to a direction that you want people to click at. But you can download stuff like that from DeviantArts or just Google, you know, arrow brush sets and we'll show you how to import those here uh, in another tutorial. But those are some of the basics of brushes. Yeah, I have fairy brushes. Go figure. <laughs> But uh, anyway, that's a quick tutorial about what some of the brushes look like and the basics of Photoshop. This is Cherokee, and uh, we'll see you on our next tutorial.